Hi everyone, it's Chris at Cork and Crown. Gonna try the cider for you. Uh, as per usual, today I'm gonna to try this one. This is the uh, Exmoor Mellow from Secret Orchard. I've tried a couple of Secret Orchards now. Um, this is the one that I probably sell the most of. Um, it is the one I've sold the most of, in fact. Um, it's a medium. It's 5.5%. Um, it's on the lower end of the alcohol scale compared to a lot of the ciders I've tried. Um, secret Orchard on Exmoor. Um, it is a secret orchard. If you go to the videos list, um, I actually took the opportunity to have a peek inside the secret orchard with my camera um, video and I took a little film of it so you can actually see it is a, a walled orchard on an estate uh, with old uh, established trees, uh, traditional cider varietals. Uh, they source apples from further afield as well but that's where they started uh, on the estate there with those with apples from that orchard. Uh, it's got, it's got these um, Art Nouveau sort of labels on all of their um, ciders. Uh, this lady on the front is Pomona, the Roman goddess, goddess of abundant fruit, I believe. Became more associated with apples specifically though, over the millennia, I guess. Pom, Pomona, yeah, you get it. So let's crack it open, try it. A little bit of a hiss, sparkling. Um, not sure if they're bottle, con I think it is bottle conditioned. I couldn't say for sure, I need to check on that. Um, probably not, it's definitely not filtered as you'll be able to see in a moment. So you can see from the color there, that is an unfiltered cider. The um, age in steel and plastic, seasonal oak, so it's quite a pure fruit flavor profile that they go for. Um, Wild yeast, indigenous yeast though. Um, I'm gonna give it a smell. What? What's the color like? I mean, it's like hard to say. Um, like a turbid, a turbid pale amber. I want to say. So I'm gonna say that it's a turbid pale amber. Um, on the nose, what we got? Okay. I mean, loads of apple on the nose. Ripe aged apple. Um, almost smells a little bit spicy as well. Um, just like oh, orange, orange peel, I would say for definite. Almost like a rich sugar, like almost like a demerara sugar. Um, almost smells, I mean, not mulled, it's not as spicy as that, but it's, you know, hints of mulled cider in it, I would say. Uh, right, let's give it a test. So a little bit of sparkle on the on the palate. Reasonable talons, talons quite soft, but they're there. This is a massive apple experience. Apple skin as well, I want to say. That's what I'm getting very much. I want to say minerality, but actually it's more like apple skin, fresh apple skin. It's very nice. It it. it there's almost like a demerara sugar flavour in there as well. Um, I mean, it's very clean in the sense of you're not getting any oxidisation, you're not getting, there's very little acid in there. I mean, there is a hint. Malic lactic just a hint of acid tiny bit making my mouth water but it's not super acid um, but there is acidity so it doesn't feel too flabby very pure apple though amazing now it's coming up the back of my nose and I'm I'm starting to get more from it um, it is dessert like mold like there's a there's a definite orange pithy thing going on really interesting actually really interesting a lot of people really like this and for people who don't like funkiness and wildness in their um, ciders this tends to be the one I would recommend um, it, 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 it is like it's not keeved so it doesn't quite have the baked ta 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 style of flavor profile that you get from a keeved cider but it's edging towards that I would say uh, it's definitely edging that way um, 
great cider. It's good to try these things and remember why I sell them. Because sometimes you just end up selling things habitually. Um, but from time to time, it's good to sit down and try it properly and think about it. And then remember why it is you sold it in the first place. So this is a worthwhile experience for me, even if it isn't for you. I hope it is, but even if it's not, you know, what the heck. You can't have everything. So yeah, um, Exmoor Clear. Pardon me, Exmoor Mellow, pardon me, from Secret Audrey. Delicious, really good, really satisfying, really interesting for people who who are getting into cider, but don't want to be, who, but who might be put off by the funk and some of the acidic nature of, of farmhouse ciders. Great introduction, this really is, uh, and very different to something you'd get on the shelf in your supermarket or anywhere else. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Right. Well. Cheers, guys. I'll be back soon.